Welcome to Network 13, and today, instead of building something, we're going to tear something apart. This is a solar steak light that I bought at my local dollar store today. And it's a solar steak light, and down here it's in French. Uh, being in the Northeast, we're not that far from our friends and neighbors up in Canada. Uh, this says Garden Collection, and it says light lasts up to eight hours. Well, I mean, that's something I may have to find out for myself and maybe do a follow-up video. Um, up here, improved quality, brighter light. On the other side of the label, it says pull paper tab to activate light. So there's a, there's a cardboard tab in here that I guess would prevent the light from turning on in the store or the, or the warehouse when you didn't want it to. And it says, imported by Greenbrier International, uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, and of course in Canada, DTSC Imports in Burnaby, British Columbia. And of course, like 90% of everything else you find in a dollar store, it's made in China. Okay, so I've removed the, the label so we can read this a little better. Um, it says, powerful solar panel, recharges the battery during the day. One, 1 1.2 volt. And then it says two slash three AAA rechargeable battery included. So I don't know if that means two or three or it's two thirds of a AAA cell. Um, we got a clue here. It says 1.2 volts, which um, it's probably for a dollar, not going to be a lithium cell in there. It's probably going to be a nickel metal hydride or a. And that, that may not even be a new nickel metal hydride. It may be something that's recycled and, and cleaned up and repackaged. Uh, caution, as with a small battery, the battery used with this product should be kept away from small children who still put things in their mouths. Always purchase the correct size and grade of battery, most suitable for intended use. Clean the battery contacts and also those of the device prior to battery installation. Sure, the battery is installed correctly. Uh, it's a lot of warnings about the battery, but I don't really see any way to access the battery unless you take this apart. Okay, so I've pulled the, uh, the battery safety tab here, and if I cover this... Oh, there it is. It's lighting up. Uh, I mean, at first inspection here, it doesn't look very bright, um, but... We have to consider that, you know, perhaps the battery is maybe flat. It's This has probably been, you know, in a container ship across the Pacific, and then it had to make its way across the continental U.S. and probably sat in a warehouse and sat in the store for I don't know how long. So we, we, we really don't know what condition the battery is in yet. And on the other side, we have, uh, this is the, oh, this is the pointy part that you stick in the ground. <clears throat> We're just going to take that off for now. We don't need that right now. And it looks like some Phillips head screws that hold this together. So let's open this up. Okay. Let's see. And okay. And we'll try to get this open. Oh, okay. Opening up. And oh, let's drop one of the screws. And inside is, let's see, we have a one battery, or maybe that's two-thirds of a AAA battery, now that I look at it. Now that I look at it. Um, there's a small circuit board with a resistor, and there's another circuit board here inside the reflector that's holding the, the LED, and not really much else. Interesting. Go a little deeper. Okay, I popped the battery out of here and it says battery must be recycled. Do not dispose of them. Okay, normal normal battery warnings. Keep away from small children. Oh look, this is a not a nickel metal hydride, but a nickel cadmium, and it says two thirds AAA, 130 milliamp hours, 1.2 volts. The Jiangsu Huyang Power Company, made in China, made on, made on, 
uh, October 2017, it looks like. And this, okay, so two thirds, so I have a, I have a, a full AAA here to compare. And I, yeah, I guess that isn't two thirds of a AAA. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Okay. And inside, I found this circuit board. So it actually had, it actually has, uh, it looks like a, some kind of an IC on there, if you can see that. It's, looks like four leads and um, there's a resistor I mentioned earlier. So, okay, so that makes a little more sense. And if we get up close, not really anything to be revealed here on the reflector. There's a polarity marked on the circuit board for the LED. Um, okay. Okay, so I, I was able to read the number off the IC. It's YX8018. And if you do a Google search or a Yahoo search on this part number, you're going to find quite a bit of material. You're going to be able to find data sheets. Um, most of the ones I found were in Chinese, but okay, there's still some good information there. I also found some a number of really good articles where people have um, reversed engineered these little solar lights and figured out how they work and they've written some some good things about this IC, some good information and uh, um, so basically I traced out this solar this particular solar light and this is the circuit and this is almost directly out of the data sheet uh, one of the applications uh, it's powered by the NICAD cell, the VDD pin to ground. The solar cell goes from VDD to a chip enable pin. And in addition to charging the battery, it's also used uh, to gate the LED on and off. Now, depending on, you know, if, if the sun were out, you wouldn't want the LED on. You only want the LED on when the sun is down. So that's what this chip enable pin is doing. So they're kind of getting double duty out of the out of this pin and because it's also there's also a path in here back to ground um, through I believe uh, ESD protection diode and that's the the path that you're charging the cell with <clears throat> and of course there's a ground and then this component which I misidentified as a resistor it's actually an inductor and the, the green uh, color should have given it away but um, it's 180 microhenries, as far as I can tell from the, the color banding. And this is the LED. The LED turns on at about, or it comes on at about 2.8 volts, or it drops about 2.8 volts, I should say, when it's operating. And it runs at about a 50% duty cycle, which I'm going to show you uh, in the next bit. I'm going to show you on my scope exactly what all of this is doing. Okay, so we've got the scope out and we're looking right across the LED. And as you can see, it's about 2.8 volts um, peak at about a little less than 50% duty cycle. And it's switching at about 212 kilohertz. Um, now, i not using the NICAD cell right now. I'm powering this off my bench supply. And I've set my bench supply to... Um, about 1.25 volts, which, you know, a, a freshly charged NICAD, that's a, that should be about what it puts out. The uh, NICAD really needs a good charge. It's, it's really, really flat, and that's why the light looked a little dim earlier. Um, if you can see it now, you can't really tell here. Let me turn some of these lights off. Maybe it'll look a little brighter. So... Of course, <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's actually actually looks brighter here than it really does in real life. Um, it's not terribly bright, even at one point two five volts. Uh, I mean, there's probably. I mean, I guess in total darkness, it wouldn't look that bad. Um, and if you had a bunch of these in your along your your path that you were walking at night um, in your yard, I guess it would be better than nothing. But not terribly bright. Like I said, the the camera isn't really doing this justice. It really is not as bright as it looks on camera right now.
Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you was the action of the of the solar cell. So if you block the solar cell, which would be nighttime, the LED will come on. If you open up the solar cell and enough light hits it, which would be daytime sunlight, it turns off, which you know, which is what it should be doing, because you, you don't want your light on in the middle of the day. But that is the action of it, right there. Okay, so that's it for the Dollar Store Solar Steak Light um, Teardown. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to be putting this back together and I'm going to be putting the, the stock uh, NICAD cell back in. And we're going to be doing some testing on this, I think. Well, I'll put it back together, I'll let the NICAD get a really good charge, and then I'll put it outside and we'll see... You know, we can see how bright this looks on a, on a, on a dark night outside. And we can also see how long that the light stays on for. The manufacturer is, is claiming they can, it can last up to eight hours. We can actually see if that's true or not. Um, just the final thing to say about this, that it's, you have to keep in mind that it costs a dollar. It's a dollar. <laughs> Um, so we have to calibrate our expectations accordingly. Uh, if, if I had paid 30 or 40 dollars for this, I would have expected it to, you know, uh, perform a lot better than, than we think it's going to, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll do a follow up and we'll see. Okay. Um, just to wrap this up here, you can leave comments and suggestions in the comment section for this video. You can also send comments and suggestions to our email address, network13.contact at gmail.com. Um, we have several other videos up right now, and if you think this is something that you're enjoying, if you're liking what we're putting out, um, feel free to subscribe to our channel, Network13. Um, if you like the video, please, by all means, give it a thumbs up. Um, and one other change I'd like to announce is that we have a Network 13 Google Plus page right now that we, that we just started. And the purpose of the Google Plus page is I'm going to be putting the, the exhibits. So any kind of a schematic or a diagram or anything like that that you'd want to peruse later will be up on the Google Plus page. And also any links that uh, that you wanna go to for a data sheet or, or a Wikipedia article or anything else to do with the video. I've been, had been putting these in a, uh, in a card at the end of uh, the videos, but I realized that some of these links are very, very long and, and very kind of complicated to type in by hand. So I think this would be better. And you can find our Google Plus page if you go to our about tab in our <laughs> this is complicated right if you go to our about tab in our YouTube channel for network 13 you can find a link to our new Google Plus page and you'll be able to find everything I just mentioned schematics and links and diagrams and I think that's about it so I'll conclude by saying uh, as always thank you for watching